Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Wimbledon martini. So the Wimbledon martini is a cocktail that came up in the 90s in London. It's one of those martini that aren't a martini at all. Actually, this is far from a martini that you can get. There is no gin, there is no vermouth, there is no vodka, there is nothing. Nothing that has to do with a real martini, but I think it's gonna be served in a V-shaped glass so that makes it a martini in the eyes of a 90s bartender. Anyway. Let's get down to mixing this. So I'm gonna start with the three small strawberries. And I have here exactly three strawberries. Let's put four, these are really small. I'm gonna put four. I already cleaned them up and then I'm gonna tap them and smash them a bit. Okay, now we're going with 15 milliliters of cream, kind of heavy cream. I'm using a 35% fat cream, which is lighter than what I usually use because the recipe calls for a single cream or half and half. So yeah, this is a bit lighter in fat content and only 15 milliliters. I hope it's enough. The one thing that I'm gonna skip from the original recipe is the simple syrup because this recipe to me sounds really sweet because now what we're gonna use is this creme de fraise strawberry liqueur from Legier and we're gonna use 45 milliliters of it so I'm not quite sure we are gonna need the sugar extra sugar let's see First I'm gonna complete the main ingredients and after I've done that I will taste it and decide if it makes sense adding even more sugar. Anyway to conclude this recipe we go on with 45 ml of white rum, I'm gonna use the plantation three stars one of my favorite, actually my favorite clear rum it has a bit more complexity and flavors compared to a Havana free or other Bacardi like completely clear rum and now as I said I'm gonna give this a taste and let's see if we really need the extra sugar or we can get away without it yeah I'm not gonna put the extra sugar come on are you kidding me so now let's get some ice X and let's give this bad boy a shake strain this I'm gonna pass it in the smaller portion of my Boston shaker and in this way I can use a julep strainer instead of a hot oil strainer julep strainer doesn't have coils around because otherwise I think you will get too clogged up when you have uh, some fruits floating in your cocktail and you want to strain them the auto strainer will get easily clogged up while the drip strainer let things flow more freely inside the fine strainer and then from there we can use our spoon to let everything pass through in a decent manner
let's decorate with one strawberry but that's what I have and there you go a Wimbledon martini not a martini at all but let's give this a try cheers let me have a bite of the strawberry I think this is actually pretty decent it's a dessert like cocktail but it's good I mean strawberries and rum and cream it's good it's good it doesn't need the extra sugar it's already sweet enough like this probably depending on your strawberry liqueur if you have a drier strawberry liqueur then maybe you need a bit more sugar but this leger it's pretty sweet by itself it's 15 percent mv and pretty sweet and this is this is good and i think it represents perfectly the wimbledon as you might know the fault food at wimbledon it's strawberries and cream now to me that sounds weird because wimbledon takes place in july and at least here in japan and in italy by july all the strawberries are gone it's not strawberry season anymore my guess in England, it's gonna be colder, so we still have strawberries. So we have uh, strawberries and cream while watching Wimbledon tournament of tennis. Now, this is as far as you can get from a martini as possible. But it's a good cocktail. Yeah, I will not complain about rum, cream, and strawberries. It's like all the good stuff. What's not to like? Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Meat? Good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Shake yourself a strawberry cocktail and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. Wimbledon. I used to watch a lot of tennis when I was little and I was a big fan of uh, Stefan Hedberg when I was in junior high. Then somehow watching tennis was not free anymore in Italy. And so I stopped, I never watched it again. <laughs> so I've been left uh, to the nineties regarding tennis. Uh, the people I watched were Landel, Edberg, they were the two rivals. And Landel was evil, Edberg was the hero. Then was Chan that came in that one time at Roland Garros and uh, shocked everybody. <laughs> the funny thing is uh, here in Japan they called back Chang a couple of times in New Year. In New Year in Japan they have a special version of TV shows that sometimes they go on all the year and then they have a special at New Year time. Sometimes there is just a show that goes only in New Year. And there's this Toner Zoo, which are two comedians, which I think all the year, the only thing they do is they prepare for the special for New Year. They only have that TV show on TV, as far as I know. And they do sports with uh, celebrities, with, uh, and they do something funny, for example, like uh, golf, but like you have to hit the ball and then you have to run. And so who arrive first at the whole wins. They do weird uh, baseball challenges. They always do ping pong in funny way. They, they give the ping pong champions frying pan to play with. All stuff like that. It's kind of funny once a year. And they call Chang a couple of times to play tennis. When they usually like play tennis. They start like one on one when they add people. They add uh, students. They add uh, I don't know, maybe they call him Federer or something. We have money to spend. So we call him some even bigger star. And yeah, we just make it fun. Sure. That's kind of cute.